Many foals are born with flexural deformities, or what we might say are crooked legs. Most of these can be corrected with confining the animal to a stall and stall rest for a week or two, and they correct themselves. Here's an animal with a deep flexor tendon contraction in the hind limb and also valgus in the forelimb. But this hind limb shows the contraction of the deep flexor tendon. When they walk flat, they usually correct themselves. Oftentimes, they walk on the front of their fetlocks and will require one, two, or three days of IV tetracycline. This foal happens to show the valgus also. And the valgus is somewhat what we could say was not knees. And varus would be the opposite, or bow legs. You can see where these knees are closer together than the feet are, where the distal portion of that limb is uh, not quite straight. Here he is after just one week's stall rest, and he's easily corrected the hind limb problem. And if he ever turns around to where we can look at him straight, you'll see that he's Four limbs are both parallel. There they are. Shows how they've just corrected with stall rest. However, some animals may need to have splints or some other support. I wanted to show you also a sickle hawk. Sickle hawk is not really an unsoundness in my opinion. It's a confirmation fault for people with halter horses. Most good performance horses have somewhat of a sickle hock where they put that foot up underneath them that way. And oftentimes they'll have a little cow hock appearance also where the hocks kind of point toward each other. Both of those, in my opinion, are pluses for performance horses.